Everyone's having a fabulous time in life. Enjoying the essence of uh, breathing. Start there with some gratitude. Yay! All right, so I just got back from the farmer's market. And um, so much like collective like conversations about what's going on in people's worlds or collectively or whatever. So I love the cards actually kind of went with the theme of what was going on today. Um, so, all right, well, let's start with ooh, one of the chakras. So one of the messages I got this morning in my um, devotion was, when fear comes up, and this was specifically Jesus speaking to me, but uh, when fear comes up, instead of focusing on the fear, focus on Jesus. Or, for example, in this case, it does, you know, whatever, whatever resonates for you. But it, instead of focusing on fears of things or whatever, what you're worried about or what you're anxious about, maybe change that perspective to imagining that it's already resolved or you know, the love fills that gap or whatever, you know what I mean? Replacing fear with love, that kind of thing. Um, and it works really well today. <laughs> Just really lit up with some love vibes. But anyway, so starting with our first chakra is the sacral, which, um, you know, like, just ch inner child feeling safe, very, very important. Um, and, you know, releasing fear, releasing fear of intimacy releasing fear of lack of creativity or whatever it be, just releasing fears with the main thing I'm getting. But, um, <laughs> this card's about releasing fear. <laughs> I hadn't even read it yet. All right. Breath diffuses fear. Okay. Or if you're feeling fear, just breathe instead. <laughs> Conscious breathing diffuses fear consciously. Oh, dig that. Breathing in, we hear the words, I am. Breathing out, fearless. I am fearless. Woo and then speaking of that, like, you know, outside of fear is feeling safe. So we got Archangel Michael here from our angel cards as you are safe. It said, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you and your loved ones and your home. So one thing I've been learning with spirit is how to detect and discern unconscious guilt from others. They may not mean they're doing it, but sometimes people can unconsciously through their own fear and wounding sort of jag somebody else. And it, it seems nice, but something don't feel right. You know what I mean? So uh, call it Archangel Michael if you got something like that going on. Okay. Just clear any cords, clear any deception, uh, so you can see clearly. Also, we got relationship harmony. So again, like Archangel Michael will help clear any dense energies that are blocking or any fears or anything if you're trying to have relations on a positive uh, communications and things of that nature. You know, you can ask Archangel Michael to clear that out. And this is Archangel Raphael, which is the healing angel. The angels are opening up the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So I'm not sure maybe some of you out there are dealing with like triggers or relationship stuff or un unseen energies that are low, you know, vibration. So again, Archangel Michael to really call them in and you will be safe. Um, that kind of thing, you know what I mean? If you believe, if you believe, you know, faith can move a mountain. But if you don't, that's all on you. <laughs> like, you know, I'm just the messenger. <laughs> Take it however you want. All right, so another thing that came through is how it takes some time to change a habit, right? So the thing I was saying, it takes like at least 30 days. Like give something at least, and I used to say this when I worked, ran a health food shop, it try something for at least 30 days before you can see if it's made any results or not. Give it at least 30 days. All right, so we've got angels saying here a change of a, into a healthy lifestyle. So for example, if your diet's poor when you want to change that, just Try a new diet and see how it works for you in 30 days or whatever. Or just try to uh, listen to your body more. You know, do you need more exercise? Do you need more water? Just your body is brilliant. It will tell you. So it's saying eat a healthy diet, get enough sleep, and exercise regularly for optimum health. 
So for those out there, you know, maybe something's calling you and you're ready, like you wanted to, you know, take a leap of faith and start a new program, uh, like an exercise thing, or, you know, if you got fear in the way, remember, like breathe through that fear and, re you know, release it so that you can switch into a new pattern. But also remember that it can take some time. So not giving up, not giving in, staying consistent is key. And so that brings me to this stone card we got, which is self-discipline. Honestly, I'm like, the way I teach my son is we can't control other people, but we have self-control. So how we respond to something, whether it's fair, unfair, healthy, unhealthy, we can choose with our self-discipline to consciously respond. You know, it's pretty cool. But also sticking to if you're changing, uh, you know, your lifestyle, the discipline is so key to see it through. Then we also have personal truth. So I got a compliment today that people like really, really authentically like me. And it has a lot to do with me being authentic. <laughs> so, and one of my messages I say is you don't have to try to create, fix, whatever. Just be yourself. That's really what we're responsible for. But for, for example, if you've got fears or something that are blocking and you don't know who you are, you got to get that information. So for me, I go to the creator. I'm like, I'm created by the creator. I would like to learn about my creation. Please teach me, you know, um, and to be myself. And how do I do that? So the other chakra, uh, or you can ask yourself that question, like what personal truth, what, what true authentic blueprint is yours? You know, what is your personal truth? I really feel like we're being called to align to our highest positive timeline our highest blueprint, our true best highest potential self, okay? Or I like to call it the true organic ascended self. Um, what is already there and already exists and you don't have to work to to fix it, create it or whatever, it just is. So aligning to to your truth, your personal truth. Huh, it's got the word truth, cool. Yeah, and then now we've got the crown. So getting that information, you know, downloaded is really important to discovering your personal truth. But it's got... None are here for themselves. Nowhere is that more apparent than in the movement from servitude to service. Only then can we breathe it in, breathe into as the wind of heaven. Breathing out, we hear, may the blessings, breathing out, be. <laughs> hey, I let it be. Woo! Okay, so another thing that I feel like I have been studying a lot with God is the feminine energy and how, you know, just so much divine feminine energy, right? And what is that about? And what does that really mean to be feminine and stuff like that? So one of the main things I got from this is learning. It's like my walk in faith, like learning how to receive, not just give, but receive. So for example, I had some stuff I wanted to get accomplished, but sometimes by force, they just don't. So I asked God, what do I do? And he said, give me the gift of your precious time. Okay. So I like spent a whole day just meditating. The next day, stuff just without me even having to force it was just coming in. I was getting jobs and, and my drain fields getting, all this stuff got fixed that I needed to be fixed where before it was taking so long from my mind and from that masculine, I'm like, let's get this done. More of like, can I receive it being done? Can I receive what I need, please? Because I don't even know what I need. That's why I sell to God. I don't really know. So may I just receive what I need? And I got a whole bunch of encouragement today. Apparently I needed that. And it was really, really lovely. So when we get this card, the feminine power, a topic that came up at the market today was the, important, the importance of the balance of giving and receiving. So I think about feminine, I think about just receiving God's blessings receiving information. So it doesn't have to be that you need to be just a feminine. Just I think in general, it's like gentle, compassionate, empathic, and also receiving. It's like the main message I'm getting from this is learning how to receive. And, and one of the key points I found through doing deep shadow work is what can block receiving is lack of self-worth. So I 
use self-discipline just to practice affirmations and things to up my dose of self-worth. So again, when I tell about my personal story, I'm just on a spiritual journey. I'm just using that as an example. Please put it and receive it however you will and fit it into whatever works best for you. But just to cap, we got the angels right there with us. Call Archangel Michael if you need some assistance in relationships, feeling safe, clearing out fears. We're clearing out fear. We're allowing and receiving the blessings to be. We're, you know, discovering our personal truths so that we can align to who we really are and receive those downloads and then ground them in. And uh, lifestyle changes through discipline and consistency. Okay. And then most importantly, love. Love is so beautiful. So receiving love, giving love, being love, feeling love, knowing love, you know, it's so wonderful. So yeah, so everybody, I hope you have a super lovely week full of love, personal truth realizations, receiving, um, angels clearing the way, fear being removed, love coming through, all the good vibe stuff. So grateful that you could join us here today. Hope you have a super blessed week. And if you like our channel, feel free to subscribe with the little bell button for all our notifications. And also, um, you can leave a comment or like the video if you feel super lit and inspired. We would love it. Namaste. Have a blessed week.